The proposed Chinese Fufang corn milling plant near the Grand Forks Air Force Base is back in the national spotlight. This week, U.S. Senator Mike Rounds, a Republican from South Dakota, introduced legislation that would blacklist China and other foreign adversaries from purchasing or acquiring U.S. land or businesses involved in agriculture. In Senator Rounds press release for the bill, he wrote, quote, as a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, I was alarmed when a Chinese company recently purchased farmland near an Air Force base in North Dakota. This acquisition could threaten our national security by allowing the Chinese Communist Party to closely monitor the operations and communications at a very important military facility, end quote. North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer is the only member of North Dakota's congressional delegation that has taken a stance on the Fufang project. He's come out strongly against it. Josh Many spoke with the senator to get an update on the Chinese project currently under federal review. I spoke with Senator Kramer about whether he would co-sponsor South Dakota U.S. Senator Mike Round's bill. Yeah, there's a good chance I would be a co-sponsor of the bill. I've not talked to Mike about it, but I've talked to a lot of members about the, the general issue. The Fufang project in Grand Forks has become a watershed moment for the nation. The project has been discussed by countless political pundits in a flurry of cable news interviews over the past month. I've had Republican and Democratic members of the Senate come up to me and offer to actually introduce legislation. In addition to Senator Round's legislation, Senators Tom Cotton, a Republican from Arkansas, and Tommy Tuberville, a Republican from Alabama, introduced separate legislation to prohibit China-controlled companies from buying land in the U.S. Cotton and Tuberville cited the Fufang Project as the impetus for their legislation as well. With all of these out-of-state lawmakers writing legislation aimed at something going on in our state, why are our lawmakers here in North Dakota not not taking direct action. I believe this is a local decision. It, it, well, it is a local decision. It's a state decision. And I, I think interfering so directly with legislation without, you know, the, without working with the state is probably not the right idea. At the local level, a grassroots organization, People for the Vote LLC, filed a petition to get the Fufang project put to a citywide vote. The city disqualified the petition, even though the organization garnered well over the needed number of signatures. We filed a petition following the Home Rule Charter of Grand Forks, and they denied our petition and did not give us the right to vote. So we took them to court to try and earn that right back. The hearing was on Thursday. They had to hold it in Devil's Lake because all of the local council in Grand Forks had to recuse themselves. We followed their rules. We did the petition. We followed the rules. We had far more signatures than needed. Um, and they still found a way to deny our rights. Uh, it just really felt like they didn't want to have this project go to a vote. So they figured out a way to try and get it denied. And... So we brought it to court and our attorney made very fantastic arguments on our behalf and we felt that we won the case. In the meantime, Kramer says the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. review of the Fufang project is underway and the initial results should come out in September. The outcome of the project could ultimately be decided by President Joe Biden. For KX News, I'm Josh Metty. KX News has reached out to the Grand Forks Mayor's Office and City Hall. They have not responded yet.